Hi, I'm Carrie Forrest. I'm creator of the Clean Eating Kitchen website where I share gluten-free and dairy-free recipes that are easy and they're healthy and they're delicious. And today I'm talking about the Instapot and how to use the Instapot. So maybe somebody gave you one or you bought one on a whim and it's been sitting on your counter or in the box in your garage. It's time to figure out how to use it because it's an amazing device. It is an electric pressure cooker and I am not affiliated with Instapot, but it's really become amazing for my kitchen and for my, my cooking um, for my family. So I wanted to share it with you. So I have a six quart Instapot Duo. It costs less than $100 usually on Amazon. I've seen them at other retailers as well. Um, it's a really great purchase and we're gonna go over how to use it. So let's talk about the parts. This is the lid. The lid has a seal on the inside. You normally don't have to do anything with this seal. Every once in a while you can clean it. But for now, you don't need to know much more than that. On the top of the lid is a the pressure valve. It also has the pressure indicator. The valve has only two settings, so it makes it really easy to use. It's venting and sealed. We'll go over that more in a minute. Then you have the Instapot base. You also have a stainless steel insert. This is where you put the food. Then after you're done making your food, you can take it out. It's very easy to clean. I put mine in the dishwasher. Um, let's see. You, you also have buttons on the front. And um, mine is not plugged in now, but it has a timer that appears in red in the LED lights right here when it's plugged in and ready to use. So that's the basics, um, the parts of the Instapot. Let's talk about cooking with the Instapot. Now, because it is a pressure cooker, it means that you do need to have liquid, at least one cup of liquid, anytime you're cooking something because the liquid, the, um, the pressure cooker heats the up and heats the liquid which creates steam and it's the steam that's cooking the food really fast. So whereas it used to take six to eight hours or in, in a, in a um, crock pot or a slow cooker to cook a chili for instance, you can make the same thing in the Instapot in, oh my gosh, a quarter of the time, maybe 45 minutes at the most. So um, the three things I wanted to tell you about the basics of cooking, again, it's using one cup of liquid. I want you to use a recipe when you're first getting started with the Instapot. And I'm coming, I'm telling you that because I had a bunch of Instapot fails, as I like to say, Instapot disasters. Nothing serious, but the food just didn't turn out. And um, it was a big disappointment, so I don't want that to happen to you. The third thing is that I wanted to tell you to use the pressure cooker button. Once you have your recipe and the food inside, you lock on the lid, which is very easy. Just You'll see how to do it when you're doing it, but you lock it on, you set the seal or the valve to sealed, and then you use the pressure cook cooker button. There are a lot of um, programs set up in the Instapot, which is great, but when you're getting started, maybe, and you're looking at a recipe and it says, for instance, for the chili, you know, it says cook for 30 minutes. Well, you could use one of the settings here, or you could just push the pressure cooker button and then use the up and down arrow to set it to 30 minutes. And then you just let it do its thing. Now, um, uh, I have addition to the three cooking tips, I have three other things that you need to know. So you need to know that it will take 10 to 15 minutes for the food to come up to pressure. So after you've set it for 30 minutes for your chili, as an example, you need to know it's going to take, first it will take 10 minutes before the timer starts counting down. That's while the heating element is making the steam and that will cook your food. So. You know, it's a little bit of a myth where you say, oh, the chili's done in 30 minutes. It's really 45 minutes because you have to add, you know, you have to account for those extra, that extra time for the pressure to come up to pressure. 
Um, the second thing I wanted to tell you is you can use a natural release or a quick release and that will happen using the pressure valve on the top of the lid, which is right here. You'll see it when you're done cooking, the bottom line is you could turn it to vent and that will release the pressure. Now, you need to be careful. You wouldn't use your finger. You would use an oven mitt because the pressure coming out, the steam coming out is very hot. So you would use an oven mitt or tongs, but don't use your finger. <laughs> and then um, even when you lift off the lid, use a, an oven mitt, lift it off, carefully step away and, and set this aside and then you can serve your food. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to tell you is that um, some people ask this because after it's done cooking, the timer will start, instead of counting down, it will start counting up. And that just means the number of minutes after it's done cooking. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you're new to the Instapot, then um, I just really hope that you have a great experience and enjoy some good food. And um, this is really my first YouTube video, so I hope you like it. I'm sure I have a lot to improve upon, but um, I just wanted to jump in and try it. So happy cooking, and I hope you love your Instapot, and I'll be sharing some recipes. If you would like to see some, let me know. Okay, thanks, bye.